Okey, uh, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, hari ini uh, saya nak berkongsi dan bercerita tentang how to find racah and free ion parameters. Yang ni, this one ni, uh, racah and free ion parameters ni using Hamiltonian. Hamiltonian expression. And my case will be using ER3 plus lah. Using erbium. Okay, kita nak sampai, kita nak cari racah and free ion parameters, this one. Racah and free ion parameters, uh, yang mana how you find it is using the Hamiltonian expression and we are using the sample erbium. Okay, for this one, uh, first kali kita akan pergi kepada uh, paper ni mana tadi. Okay, this paper. Optical absorption spectra of the tripositive erbium ion in certain aesthetic complex, FVJ Lashman and CKJ Sankar. Uh, so, dia cerita uh, macam mana kita nak cari parameters racah and also some uh, free ion parameters. So kat sini ada berapa parameters tu iaitu Pertama memang adalah racah Ni E, K E1, uh, E2, E3 Also kita ada spin orbit coupling Okay ni ada uh, Ni racah, electrostatic racah parameter Spin orbit yang ni, ok and then configuration interaction parameters three parameters that you want to seek first will be racah electrostatic uh, uh, sorry parameters, spin orbit parameters and last configuration interaction so how you want to find it so first we want us to have this tele expansion so they discuss in term of tele expansion, so dia buat tele expansion ni dalam bentuk macam ni EJ is the um what's it called, uh, our experimental um, energy uh, maksudnya our wave number lah for each transition E not J ni di, 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 di bagi, diberi benda ni E not J ni E not J ni will be given in ah, ni, zero order energy here E not J is given and then uh, how to find the Delta, uh, the EK here, EK, E1, E2, O3, yang ni, this one, this one, and this one, all of these parameters. First, we must to find the delta EI. And then, we can get this E delta EK, delta F or F, delta A, delta B, delta Y. After that, kita kena dapatkan dia punya free ion values. This, this one is free ion values. Bila ion values ni, it is given actually. So, you can go to uh, this one. Eh, sorry. I think this one. Okay, this one. This is the free ion values. You can see here. Okay, for erbium eh. For different um, different uh, red earths. Different, kita kata, composition. Slightly will have a different value. So, selepas tu maksudnya sekarang ni nak dapatkan nilai ni adalah delta EK ni changes in EK F for F B delta ni get from the tele expansion and then do the uh, simple algebraic to find the EK by determining the free ion parameters free ion value sorry so saya akan bagi tahu sini macam mana cari dia So first, we do the tele expansion. Solve tele expansion. So solve tele expansion macam mana? Using least square method. Okay. Second, kita cari uh, determine Okay, so kalau solve the expansion using least square uh, method, we can get the delta P where P is parameter. 
any parameter lah yang tadi tu Lepas tu determine the initial value lah macam dia punya free ion values uh, the, Sorry, uh, P node And then kita buat uh, some simple algebraic Sebab uh, so tu kita dapat P parameters ni So P parameters equal to P naught plus delta P So then kita akan dapat P ni Okay so this is the plan lah macam mana untuk buat Okay so first kita pergi pada first punya ni How we want to do the set, solve the detailed expansion using the using least square method Okay so how to do that Okay, we go to the expression, the expansion here ni. This one is the total expansion. So, the total expansion will go to this one. So, macam mana kita nak, nak buat dia dalam in term of AX equal to B. Dalam, kita kata contoh dalam bentuk, uh, kita kata dalam bentuk matrix lah. So, example kita ada EJ equal to E not J plus okay ni P parameter eh we regard P as parameter any parameter lah E sorry I think sorry E I E to P mana satu T E C okay sorry terbalik okay. okay kita buat balik okay anggap dia adalah summation so the so we regard uh, this E not J plus some summation of parameters i equal to 1 2 okey so ada beberapa parameters lah so kita anggap combination of some parameters plus the zero energy values uh, so example this is uh, p sorry uh, sorry it must be delta e j divided by delta p i times by delta p so e j equal to maksudnya our experimental values experimental total energies equal to zero energy values plus some kita kata parameters yang kita nak where parameters ni dia boleh jadi pi1 equal to e1 p2 e2 p3 e3 p4 4F, P5, uh, Alpha, P6, Beta, P7, uh, Gamma. Okay. So, maksud P ni kita anggap dia sebagai, kita kata, uh, uh, apa namanya, uh, tele expansion lah. So, apa kita nak buat? EJ, E not J pergi sebelah. So, kita akan dapat EJ equal to E, sorry. Differences in E Equal to sebab ni pergi sebelah EJ minus not EJ Equal to uh, Sum Delta EJ EP Saya buat sini sekejap Ni susah sikit eh Delta E ni masuk EJ minus not EJ EJ minus not EJ So dapat delta E lah Okay so delta E Equal to Total uh, E not E uh, Sorry derivatives of EJ Derivative PI Delta PI Depend lah uh, I ni Satu dua Okay, yang kita dah define sebelum ni P1, E1, P2, E2, P3, E3 P4, uh, 4F Okay, yang kita dah define So, yang ni kita boleh bahagi dengan AX equal to B 
Oke okay, sudah kan jadi kita bagi pada hiasan yang mana delta i equal to uh, sum of delta i c delta pi i delta p p eh, sorry i equal to one two okay so yang delta i c delta i pi ini kita berikan s a this one parameter we get as x and this one we get as p so a x equal to b this one it actually a matrix so uh, example we have er3 plus okay saya punya er3 plus ni saya observe just example my case saya observe ada 7 oh sorry uh, 7 uh, energy values nampak ada 7 je 1 2 3 4, 5, 6, 7 just 7 so ni our as my experimental value ni E7 ni ni sahaja yang ni dapat daripada apa from apa ok this one experimental our experimental ok so ni cari daripada peak ah peak sendiri uh, the wave number come from our experimental our peak E not J come from paper. This one is the A. Okay. Here. So how can we get the A? The A here is actually given in uh, this one. Okay. Partial derivative for 4, 11, AR 3 plus configuration. So you can see delta E, delta E, I have their own value for this uh, what's called this Uh, transition, maksud is transition have their own partial derivative delta E delta 4F this one ok value, so they have their own uh, uh, partial derivative, so partial derivative we regard as A ok, so we go to our ok, so this is A where ER plus 7 energy levels And we have P parameters equal to 7 parameters. We have A equal to 7 times by 7. X here. We have 7 parameters. And also we, so it is just 7 times by 1. Okay. And P, it is also just 1. Uh, this is a 7 energy level. So equal to 7 times by 1. So how can we can get find the a, the x, okay, the parameters. So the parameters we can get by using this, uh, so called uh, least square fit fitting, fitting. So it is um, how can we find the x? X equal to a t a negative one times by a t p. AT is the transpose. Okay. AT is the transpose. So, we can find by using this expression. Okay. Sebab, because this is X equal, X equal to 7 times by 1. 7 AT equal to 1 times by 7. Eh, sorry. Sorry. 7 times by 7. And A equal to 7 times by 7. So, we can get 7 times by 7. AT equal to 7 times by 7 and B equal to 1 eh sorry AT 1 times by 7 okay 1 times by 7 and then uh, B equal to 7 times by 1 so 7, 7, 1 so it will be 7 times by 1 so this one so it will be 7 times by 1 so similar similar then we can get the expression okay So how to do this list uh, linear square fit meeting? So we must to define ATA inverse and ATB. So we can using our Excel. So this one, uh, okay. This one can see A actually we get from paper. Okay, paper which is this one. Okay, this one. And then, a B, B is the changes in uh, energy. 
as we define as delta e you can see from here okay this is the changes e j minus non e not j our experimental values with energy uh, minus by the zero and energy with zero uh, order energies and then so first we must to find the e a transpose so this is the transpose you can see transpose and then after we find transpose because we want to construct this one at this one and this one so we must to find the at the a transpose first <clears throat> and then we find the at which we multiply the transpose times by the b okay to get this one to get this one this expression okay this one and then we find the ata by multiplication also matrix multiplication and we do the mean bus ata mean bus okay this one multiplication uh, matrix inversion so why we do the matrix inverse because we want to find this one this ata negative one here inverse okay after that we must multiply ata negative one inverse by the atb as we done in here ata here minus one times by multi matrix multiplication by the atb so we can find the zero of x okay so this is the result of the delta p de, sorry delta e1 delta e2 delta e3 this is delta e2 delta e1 delta e2 delta e3 uh, for f uh, alpha uh, beta sigma so i can put like this as my i can put um, like this delta e1 equal to delta e2 delta e3 for f uh, alpha beta sigma so kalau kita tengok pada sini our kemudian pada okay our x ya yeah, ya yeah, x so equal to this one equal to negative one two four one six this one equal to negative nineteen six five six three this one equal to negative two zero two point five this one is negative fifty eight point six two five this one eighteen point three four seven changes eh this is changes this one is sorry eh sorry sorry ayah this one is not 18 this one is 7 7 eh negative 3 1 4 this one is seven seven four four. This one is four five zero five six. So this one is the delta only the delta. So we learn that to find the actual one. Okay, you can see from here the actual one. E k e four f a alpha beta gamma. You must to rearrange. You must to rearrange like this. This one you must to bring to another. Uh, okay, example this one you must bring to another side. So then you can have like this. Example you can have uh, e one equal to e not one plus delta e. So which is e not one you can get from this value. This paper, the same, the similar paper actually, eh? Similar paper. Okay, E one six seven six nine point nine. So actually, we had calculated six seven six nine point nine. So 
it is actually equal to 6769.9 here minus 12416 12416 one, one, or 12416 one, 12416 okay then we can get the value equal to 6 uh, negative 5466 5, 6, 0.1 I think 0.1 okay so this is the value of E1 similar goes with another one so that's why we do this plus free iron values plus the x so we can get the actual Hamiltonian parameter E1, E2, E3 the spin orbit coupling uh, configuration interaction A, B and Y gamma Okay, so that's how we want to find the Hamiltonian parameter. So as we done with the Hamilton parameter, actually we can find the calculated energy values, and we can find the RMS. So uh, how to find the calculated the calculated uh, parameters here? So actually you can just uh, go with the matrix multiplication. So because in matrix multiplication we can we had find the a where and we know the x where the a is actually uh, e j uh, ep and then the x is actually equal to uh, what's it called here uh, with the parameters okay the delta p okay so then if you calculate all of this then you can get the delta e so delta e is equal to ej minus not ej so actually you can find the ej by you go to the other side then ej equal to delta e not j plus sorry del e not j plus delta e so then you can find the calculated EJ. Okay, so then you can find the RMS. RMS, I think you all know how to find the RMS. So it doesn't matter. So you can use this template actually. Okay, so that's all I think. Uh, thank you. Harap bermanfaat.